Hey, what is up guys? I'm here from andrewroots.com and today I'm doing a ROM review of Wicked ROM version 3 for your T-Mobile Galaxy S4. Um, so before we actually do begin this whole review, what's actually included and all that, um, let's go dive into settings and show you what version you're running on. Um, just in case if you watch this in a later time, uh, you know what version this is, you know what features this uh, current version offers and if he updates it later on, uh, you know there's going to be more uh, features and added later on. Um, so you're running a model number M919, like I said, only flashes on T-Mobile, don't flash on any other one, T-Mobile or you know, the Canadian ones that are compatible with it, um, please don't flash on other ones. Um, you got Wicked build, or build number is Wicked uh, version 3 like I mentioned earlier, uh, baseband Android version 4.2.2, so latest Android version that uh, Samsung released and Google released as well. Um, so as you can see, you still got the tab interface, uh, settings isn't themed at all. But what you may have seen is widgets is actually all themed nice and white. I personally love white. Um, it looks great on just about anything. So as you can see, you got all the nice widgets. Um, it's not custom uh, toggles. Sorry, I mean toggles. It's not custom toggles. So it's the same look as your stock toggles, just um, themed differently. So that's nice. Um, you also get uh, custom wallpapers if you want that. So set wallpaper. Let's go home screen and wallpapers. And right here, you get a couple of uh, custom wallpapers. Uh, this... Um, developer has made or put on the RAM. Um, so as you can see right here, a couple of galaxy wallpapers. You got a skull right here, some wood, fire that's currently, or fiery sky that's currently on my um, home screen. And you got this one as well. So we'll just leave it to the nice fiery one. I like this one. I personally like this one. One of my favorite ones that he included. Um, you also get um, a lot of bloatware is removed. Um, all, actually, all the bloatware is removed, which is a great, great bonus. So as you can see, um, watch on isn't there, as health isn't there, all the other great uh, bloatware isn't there that I really do prefer. Um, so he's removed a lot of it, which is really great. And um, it's actually, um, let me uh, write here. So it is actually 500 megabytes uh, smaller than your stack. Um, Samsung ROM that you usually get when you first bought your S4. Um, so it's going to be a lot lighter, <laughs> not in weight, but <laughs> in um, size of internal memory. Um, so you can get a lot more room, uh, hopefully less complaining <laughs> from people. Um, it's still going to take up a lot of room just with all the gimmicky features. You know, you got your, um, let's see, S scroll and all that. You still have that uh, gesture air view, uh, which can be useful at times. Smart scroll, which is kind of good. Uh, smart pause, which works really well for me. Um, so you do get a lot of uh, garbage removed and let's say you want to watch on app or if you use S health He's actually added packages on his form I actually have links down below for this ROM and the actual pa extra packages down below so you can actually install it um, So let's actually uh, head over to his forums and I'll show you what I am talking about All right, so right now we are on his form right here So you can see wicked uh, wick the wicked ROM series right here. So this is for uh, T-Mobile You can't really see that but uh, right there, version 3. So if you scroll down just a little bit, instructions how to install it, um, downloads right here. So right here is our add-ons. So like I mentioned earlier, all the um, uh, blower is removed. So let's say you want um, watch on right here. If you go and click here, show uh, click to show content right here, you can actually see what you can download with this package. So once you download this package and install it, uh, I think it's via, um, I think you download uh, via... Yeah, so you actually download uh, via Clockwork Mod Recovery, and you can actually install all these applications all at once. And let's see, you want uh, the second package, the second uh, Samsung Bloat Level Two. You get all these um, apps, and if you need T-Mobile Bloatware, right here, you got all the T-Mobile ones. Maybe if you use it, I personally never use any of this bloatware, so I'm really glad they took it out and added separate packages that you can just install if you want, and mobile print right here if you need any of that and stock theme and all that you can install later as well. Um, so that is what I mean. Um, he has different uh, packages for each uh, bloatware level. And some of the last few features you, you also get is a transparent weather widget right here. As you can see it's nice and transparent. And you know, I prefer this. Looks much nicer. Um, also, you get Wi Fi calling. I know someone always asks in each video, uh, does this ROM include Wi Fi calling? Um, so, yes, it does. Let me go into my Wi Fi. Um, it's not going to work just because my SIM card is out of date and I actually have to go to T Mobile Store and actually update it. So, you do get Wi Fi calling. So, let me go and turn that on and show you <laughs> it is actually out of date. So, error uh, 505 invalid SIM. So, it's, uh, it's T Mobile SIM card, it's just out of date and doesn't support Wi-Fi calling. Um, so I need to do that. It's been there for like a year or two. <laughs> Just been too lazy to go to the T-Mobile store and upgrade it. Um, it's free, but you know, 
Um, but that is the Wicked ROM for T-Mobile Galaxy S4. Click on the link, the article link down below, and I'll bring you to downloading it and also that. And I also have an annotation right here on how to install a custom ROM just in case if you don't know how to install a custom ROM on your T-Mobile Galaxy S4 or any type of Galaxy S4 um, in particular. I have a specific video for specifically for T-Mobile Galaxy or actually Galaxy S4 in general. So if you need how to do that, you can. Link down below for the article, and in that article there will also be credit credits for the developer so be sure to uh, donate to him if you do enjoy this ROM and um, if you just want to support him give him a thanks say hey this is a great ROM maybe you give him some su suggestions to what he should uh, add in the, the future if you want to see something else um, but that's about it guys for this video thanks for watching if you didn't just the video hit that like button and consider subscribing in the bottom left hand corner and, uh, and that does uh, really help me show uh, they support me and that really does help me grow my channel you know it gives me uh, more time and uh, more um, motivation to make more video for you guys and um, that's about it guys and don't forget to follow me like me and add me on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus links down below for the social networks article and subscribing and liking thanks for watching guys